Hi, Ollie. How are you? Yeah, very well, thanks. Are you looking forward to next week? Yeah, I certainly am. Just here at Flemington Jump House at the moment, and uh, hopefully the weather can get a little bit better. It's a bit cool and rainy, but uh, no, it's going to be a big week and um, Derby Day tomorrow, so looking forward to that. I know you're busy with, with jump outs at this stage, but a uh, quick line on Lost in the Moment if we can, Karen. How is he in the build up to the race? Good, yeah. I sat on him for the first time uh, since he travelled out yesterday morning our time and uh, worked with Cavalry Man, just that, that sort of 15 lengths behind him. And um, yeah, he seems nice and bright and looks well on the coat. So um, work was solid. Um, didn't break the clock, but just went and done some nice work and uh, hopefully we can get him in the field. He ran a good race in it last year, didn't he? He did, yeah. He's, he's a horse that um, can take up a spot and, and travels well around Flemington. The two-mile suits as well as the, the firmish ground. Um, so hopefully we can get similar conditions. And, uh, you know, he ran a creditable race to finish up only a few lengths from the winner. So uh, if he gets some lucky, he's a top six or eight chance again. Do you think Cavalry Man is a, naturally a better horse than Lost in the moment? He possibly is. He's a horse that I haven't ridden or seen a lot of. But uh, early in his career, he showed promise. I think he was placed... Was he placed in uh, a good race in France? Just trying to think. Yeah, um, yeah I, I just can't remember, sorry. But, um, you know, they both look to have travelled out well and and um, they they both ran... Their last couple of runs in, in the UK looked to have been quite solid as well. He was third in, in See the Stars. Oh, Karen, I've got Richard Hoyles in the in the studio alongside me. Richard's uh, got a question for you. Yeah, hi, mate. Let's hope, hope, hope it was well with you and the family. Um, lost in the moment. He's, he's a funny horse, isn't he? He's got a sort of plenty of ability, and it, it seems the better races almost bring out the best in him. When he has softer opportunities, he seems to find a way of contributing to his own downfall a bit. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, some horses can be like that, and I think there's a lot of luck plays a part, obviously, in most races as well as the Melbourne Cup. So if we can draw a good barrier... Um, and have a ground-saving run and, and just leave him on the bridle. And he's got that good turn of foot uh, to finish a race off inside the last sort of uh, furlong and a half. So, um, you know, he's had to make too long a run on him, it seems, as though it just, he just, he's run Peters out and in. So um, it's crucial that he gets the right sort of trip. Yeah, that's the point, isn't it, about the, um, you know, in end-to-end -end races in, in the UK, stamina test, he's been seen to good effect, almost ridden cold. But that mid-race lull for the Melbourne Cup, you, you mentioned the, the draw, you'd probably want to get a spot and hope they do sit up and you can fill the tank then rather than having to come from a long way back. Yeah, exactly. You can, can help horses that really want to travel on the bridle. Um, can sometimes be a, a bit of a sit sprint race, even though it is over two miles. So um, it gives those horses that can be a little bit quirky time to, to travel on the bridle and get, get their confidence up, which is, uh, which is what this horse is, I think. Karen, you rode Shawadi in the Herbert Power, the, the Alan de Roy Dupre train, train galloper. How impressed were you by him? Yeah, I thought he was quite good. Uh, he only beat B-graders that day, in my opinion, but he did it in, in nice style. Uh, had everything go his way. He was back in the field and there was a strong pace on. He's another one that likes to travel on the bridle and, and sort of be last off the bridle, uh, according to the stable, and I sort of thought that as well when I watched his replays beforehand. Um, he's coming out of the race well. He worked with American. I rode him the other morning. And he's further on down the list than um, the Godolphin horse, so he's still a question mark to get in the race as well. So if he doesn't run there, I presume um, he might go to a race on the last day of the carnival here, the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. Uh, Karen, we, we asked Hugh Bowman just a few moments ago where you'd want to be drawn. Where, with Lost in the Moment in his run style, would you like to be berthed? Well, last year I think he was drawn three or four. So, um, yeah, in my mind, it'd be, it'd be great to be drawn from one to eight. Um, then, then that sort of just takes the, the hard luck out of the equation. You can just park away and, and try and get on the back of something with a good chance. Um, the year I won it, I was on drawn barrier 24 and had all the luck in the world. So uh, it was just one of those races you, you need things to go your way, definitely. Karen, just update viewers over here. Obviously, we know you from your time riding with, with Godolphin and, and teaming up with, with Frankie Dottori when you were based here. How's everything gone since you've been back home over the last few years? Yeah, pretty, pretty good, thanks, Ollie. Yeah. Uh, Got a uh, nice firepower here from the Darley team. Uh, a lot of horses uh, homebred from both the studs here in New South Wales and Victoria, and uh, as well as some more from the sales. So, um, sort of been knocking home three or four uh, big races each year. And um, the new season started off only sort of a month or two months into the new season so far. And probably our banker for the week for a Group 1 is, is a horse called Mental. He uh, ran at Mooney Valley the other night in a Group 1 and, and was an unlucky second. And uh, so I look for him to run a good race on the last day of the carnival in a, a sprint race down the straight and six mile race uh, on the last day. Good stuff, Karen. You're either on horseback and you're galloping and the wind's picked up or you're walking to get on horseback. So we'll let you go and, and best of luck on Tuesday. All right. Thanks, boys. Take thanks, care. Karen.